hello friends welcome back to our channel so today we'll see how to install the wind linux operating system ubuntu so many of you are familiar with the windows operating system the environment of windows operating system and definitely we must be familiar with a linux operating system also because most of the corporate companies will be having this linux environment so we must be familiar with this linux environment so for that without disturbing our windows operating system in today's session i am going to tell you how can we install and how can we work on linux environment in the vmware that means i am opening the vmware and i am creating a virtual machine right so first let us see where to download the ubuntu so go to the google.com and here give ubuntu download so you'll be getting the official website ubuntu.com click on this website so here you will be finding see ubuntu 22.04.4 lts so here click on this download option so shortly it will be starting downloaded yes so you can see the ubuntu software or the ubuntu operating system is being downloaded so it, it may take some time but here i am just stopping the installation because already i have in uh, downloaded and uh, i have placed it in somewhere in our uh, system so here in, the, in this path i have placed the iso file iso file means a image file right so by using this image file we are going to install this ubuntu in vmware now open the workstation vmware workstation so go to the file new virtual machine and just a typical uh, select the typical uh, go to the next and see here browse and the uh, select the ubuntu go to the path where you have uh, downloaded and uh, select that one open and click on next and give the full name so i am giving full name username so i am also giving the username password your wish so I am giving some password. Next, user name. Okay, there should not be spaces. Yes. So the machine name. I am keeping it the same. Ubuntu 64 bit. I am changing the location. I don't want to install the Ubuntu in C drive. I just want to change that. So I am going to change. So selecting the path where we have to install. So this PC and E folder, create a new folder and give Ubuntu. I'm giving Ubuntu, select this one. Okay. So in this location, I'm going to install the Ubuntu, right? Click on next. So give the disk space. So I'll give that some 30 GB and uh, virtual disk as a single file. I don't want multiple files. I, I'll create only one file one drive okay so not a multiple drives c d e f like that so i'm I go, i'm going to create the complete 30 gb in one drive okay a single drive so finish so that you'll be getting here see it will be started installing see your ubuntu installation was started okay it was not installed the installation procedure have been started in the vmware see here the ubuntu page has been loaded and waiting for the further instructions See here installation verifying the installation configuration so sit and relax until we get the further instruction yes so first we need to select the keyboard layout so english us english us and continue so normal installation 
and download updates while installing Ubuntu yes and also install the third party software for graphics select this checkbox and move to the next procedure click on continue see the next this computer currently has no detected operating system what you'd like to do erase the disk and install the ubuntu yes so let's select this one so after partitioning we need to format the partition and then we have to start the installation so here also we have allocated some 30 gb of uh, disk space so that first we have to format the disk space and then the installation will be started so this step will erase the disk and install the ubuntu on that particular 30 gb of space install now write the changes to disk yes continue so select the region so by default it was selected with the uh, india so yes continue and enter your name so i am giving the name and give the password remember the password and here you will be having two options login automatically and require my login my password to login so every time you start this operating system it will prompt for the password so unless you type your password it will never get login right if you select this one without the password every time you open the uh, operating system it will be get login right so I, I will select the second one right so always i i would like to enter the password right continue So you can see almost to finish it the copying files so we're about to start the ubuntu here you can see the retrieving files 86 of 147 and it was showing the estimated time remaining Yes, you can see installation is complete and you need to restart the computer in order to use the new installation so simply restart now so in the virtual machine in the vmware itself the ubuntu operating system will be get restarted right so there is no problem with our windows operating system you can see here we are having a windows operating system and in this windows operating system we are having a vmware and inside the vmware we have installed the ubuntu operating system right so we can work with both the environments so with a linux environment as well as with a windows environment whenever it is required so you need not use the dual booting for uh, installing multiple operating system so simply install this vmware workstation and in this vmware you can install a multiple operating system even the windows operating system with the earlier versions other than 11 can also be installed in this vmware right so i'll post the link how to download and install this vmware in the description so that you follow that and just first you have to install the vmware workstation in your uh, windows environment and then you have to download the ubuntu from the internet and you have to start installing the ubuntu in vmware see the username sandeep saradi so it was prompting for password so i have entered the password
so here we got the ubuntu operating system right so in the windows environment you can have the ubuntu that means a linux environment you can work with that so even you can uh, browse the internet you can open the applications you can open the terminals and everything command prompt so anything so this is complete a linux environment and if you minimize this vmware this will be the windows environment so at a time you can use multiple environments windows and linux without disturbing the existing windows operating system so in this vmware you will be finding the full screen mode if you press this full screen mode so your system is completely with the linux environment right so you this is completely linux and if you want to switch to windows just move your cursor towards the upwards then uh, click on this one exit so again it will be in the vmware okay so this is how we can use the ubuntu that means a linux environment in windows and see if you want to close similarly here there is a power button click on power button and click on power off go with the power off so the ubuntu will be get shut down see it was closed right so hope you understood and enjoyed the session so if you really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.